There's not that many good content out there for me to react to, and my channel is a reaction channel. Ain't nothing to react to! Thankfully, one of my viewers, Bricks Haven, recommended a video to me and the title looked kind of interesting. So, I'm gonna go ahead and react to something new. Anthony O'Neill uploaded a video called Hold Up, Are Single People Happy? She Kept It Too Real, Part 1. Okay, so I'm single and it's by choice. I'll get into it later. I want to watch this video and I want to see if I can relate. Are y'all ready to react? All my single ladies, are y'all ready to react? And my single men too. Well, let's do the damn thing. Let's get it. Where would you say you're at in this single life? 10, you good, you ain't even thinking about marriage. One is, oh no, I'm, 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 I'm done. Okay. In North Dakota. I mean, I think it's almost an unfair question because are yeah. you done or are you ready? Yeah. You gotta answer the question. I mean. Hey, that's already a good question. I'm already liking this. I'm gonna answer those questions too. In a relationship? Yes. Yeah, well, I'm kind of in the middle of one, so I have been single for 10 years. Oh my gosh. Oh. I've been single for about four and a half, five years. <laughs> Y'all are going deep with this stuff. Um, golly. I've been single for my whole life. Oh, I've never been married. <laughs> Oh. This one thing Girl. I want to talk about in this conversation is definitely the double standards. People's intentions, because I think a misunderstanding that happens a lot between single men and single women is why they do what they do. The perceived roles between how men see relationships versus how women. Mm. I can't see this. I can't say this. I don't think there's anything I don't want to talk about. Yeah, I'm in for wherever the conversation goes. Me too, girl. I'm open. I'm an open book. I don't give a fuck because I don't care for judgment. One thing I don't want to talk about in this conversation tonight is past relationships. Actually, I'm not nervous about anything tonight. Not nervous? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm nervous about something. I think that Anthony's kind of cute. <laughs> On a scale one, two... Okay, so... I'm guessing that host is Anthony. This is his channel. Ted, I am happy. I don't want to, I'm not even thinking about marriage right now. I'm just great where I am. One is, you know, I'm not. I'm ready. Okay, so it's basically about marriage. Uh, 10. I'm a 10. I am happy with not thinking about marriage. I've been married, recently divorced, been single for one year. I still believe in marriage because I grew up with a great example of my parents being married for, ooh, child, I don't even know, what, 48 years or something like that? I don't know, something like that. And I'm sure they had their ups and downs, but we never saw it. My parents have, have a great marriage. They are best friends, so I do believe in it still. But for me, I can do without marriage. I think that one definitely fucked me up in that department. Because when I said I was ready, I meant it. Other people didn't. Can't force somebody to stay in a marriage if they don't want to. I think I'm at a seven. No, I know I'm at a seven. I'm gonna tell you why I'm at a seven, okay? I'm only 23 years of age. Yeah. I got the world in front of me. Yeah, yeah. All right, mm -hmm. I would love to, you know, share that with someone, but not yet. That's why I'm at a seven. I feel like me going through our life, you know, trying to find purpose mm -hmm. is more important for me and then that yes. woman is be along that path that God has already built. So you gotta patiently wait. So yes. that's what I'm doing. Patience. Love it. He's at a seven. Anybody else? Excuse me. And that is what my pursuit of happiness is, finding my purpose in life. My partner in crime will come in due time. Patience is key, y'all. You, you say you got a seven too? I'm at a seven for the simple fact of I'm 35. Mm. And it's one of those things where, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Ooh, I'm gonna go back this way. Like, I'm at that point now where I'm in my purpose. And it's like, when you going towards your purpose, Man, it just feels right. So I don't know whether I'm, I mean, right now I'm good. Mm. I like living alone, you know, mm. cleaning up when I want to. Uh. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I like it. Uh, I, mean, I really do. You ain't lying. I mean, yeah. but, but you it's ain't one lying. of those things where it's like, if, if I know I'm walking on my purpose and everything from jobs and all this stuff is falling in place, who is to say God ain't gonna just drop her and punch me in the face? And next <laughs> thing I know, 
all right, I guess I'll get married today because you know it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I said, I like, guess. Like, <laughs> I guess I've been single for a year, but I want to be single for longer. I'm hoping a couple years, so I really hope if you is my type, please do not cross my path. Please do not, because I am a lover and I do have a soft heart and I will give in and I cannot. I cannot. I have a good thing going here and I want to keep it this way for a while. The longest I've been single was six months. My whole entire life. Six months. No dating. No flirting. No collecting numbers. And that's when I met my ex-wife. But please, let me be single for a while. Let me enjoy my life on my own terms, you feel me, without considering others' feelings. I mean, okay, so that's why I'm saying the seven like I'm good But if that perfect person drops in because at 35 you kind of got an idea mm. of what you want to tolerate Facts. Like, okay. you know what, I'm saying. what you want to tolerate well, Not tolerate what you want what you're willing to accept. I'm sure it's what he meant and I am 36 so I feel you Lord. <laughs> You know, it's funny when Judah said he was trying to figure out what he could tolerate and in this partner who he ends up with and his wife. I just thought, man, that's such a funny word to use. It's been so interesting to listen to the men talk about stepping into that relationship. I don't know that I'd ever thought of that word of the man I'm looking for is who I can tolerate. I think he used the wrong word like <laughs> by accident. Ladies, we I do you think it's a loaded question? Because <laughs> I'm at a 10. I love my life. I love what I do. I'm so content. I'm so happy. Yes, and girl. I want to be married. Like, I don't think those have to be mutually exclusive. Right. I'm very I was, content. But I agree. of course I would like to be married. But I'm, I'm looking for you're happy. Ooh. Are you happy? Mm. Are you happy in your life as it is now? Or do you think someone accompanying you will make it that much better? I oh. just think to answer something- Of course, of course. There's a lot of pros being single. Y'all, all I gotta do is spend money on myself, no one else but me. I don't gotta consider people's feelings. I don't have to worry about communication with my partner. I don't have to figure out if she's okay, if she's happy, none of that. Nothing but my own feelings. It's my time to be selfish. But yes, being with someone is so much better. Uh, yes, I just listed a whole pro section, but double that with your partner that you're meant to be with. Now that's life, but that can wait. <laughs> that just strictly on a number thing, I think again, it can be misinterpreted. I think you can, I am happy. Oh. I think happiness is overrated. Ooh. I think joy is much more important because Ooh. joy, you still <laughs> have even if your circumstances <laughs> change. Yep. So I'm joyful, absolutely. Because happiness okay. is like this. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. I like that. Yeah. I, I, I can rock with that. Yeah. Yeah. I still think she ain't the 10, but I can <laughs> rock with that. Yeah. 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 Here's what I can tell about Anthony, mm. or what I think I can tell by Anthony. He so he thinks, Anthony thinks, that you need to be with someone to be at a 10. I don't think so. I think you can live your the rest of your life alone and still be happy in your life. You have to love yourself. If you're not, how the fuck can you be happy with somebody else? Tell me. But you know, I think it's like that male ego of you need a man in your life type shit. Likes the facts. He likes data, as you would say. And I'm all for that. I love having the facts as well. However, I do want to be married. And I know that a husband will add a lot to my life in the same that any relationship can add a lot to my life. So, yes, I'm a 10 and then I'm content. And I would still like to be married. No. I'm going to say a 7. Okay. I'm not at 10 yet. Okay. Um, I'm yet. I feel like a 10 is complete contentment. I am at a place where I'm almost content, but it's that the, the desire sometimes is it, it overrides my contentment. Mm. Mm. So, but then the other thing is, I do not want to rush into something and end up regretting it ah, and I'm stuck. Yes. Preach it, girl. So because of almost like the fear of God with that, mm. I'm like, oh no, I'm all right. Because I've seen enough situations ah. where it's great and then seen enough where it's not great. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the fact that they rushed and they were lonely and they got into something. Yes. So that keeps me in a place where I'm like, all right, well, I'm willing for you to work this out, Lord, because obviously I pick wrong. Mm -hmm. So It's desperation. When people are single for so long, they'll just take whatever comes along. I'm not trying to do that no more. Not to say that I was not in love in my marriage because I was. She was actually my first love at the age of what, 29, 30? But right now, I know what I want and what I don't want. What I'm willing to accept and what I'm not willing to accept. I got morals and values, okay? <laughs> so seven. 
Okay, well, let me, can I argue with you for a second? No, um, you can't argue with me. I feel, <laughs> yeah. I feel like the question is set up really unfair to imply that 10 is right and one is wrong. Right. Thank you. Ah. Well, if I answer honestly, I'm going to sound like I'm not okay and everybody else is saying they are. I don't think that's fair. Girl, you is smart. Ugh. That was a great point. Whichever number you're at does not mean you're living life the wrong way. Girl, ooh, you are smart. Let me hear more from you. Because there, yeah, there's, there is nothing. Let me tell you about my life. I've built a really successful business. Yes. I'm cute and I'm fun to be around and yeah. I'm a two. Cause I'm ready. I've done the work on me. I'm healthy as I've ever been. Uh, and I'm uh, a two and that's not wrong compared to being a 10. That I'm, I'm, I'm not as happy as I will be when I have a partner that makes my life more fun and we think up more things to do that are uh, fun. Uh, I am full of joy. I freaking love my life. Yeah. I'm a two, and I and that and that is not worse than being a ten. Ooh, facts. And I think that yeah, 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 yeah. the way you set it up made it feel like ones are wrong and tens are right. Girl, preach that shit! Okay, that being said, my number is a seven. I am not a hundred percent happy with myself quite yet. I need to get healthy mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Yeah. Something like that. I, I, well, how when I just said number one just means you're tired of the life, I'm tired of the single life. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah, say I, you're not happy. I, I don't just know said that one I'm means tired of it. You, you you don't know if you're tired of being single. I mean I don't like it, but I don't know that I'm like. But then you're tired of it. Yeah, yeah. It just felt like the. the I'm, I'm not saying ones are wrong. Right. And I'm not even saying tens are right. Right. I'm just saying on a scale of one to ten, I'm happy. I'm not thinking about marriage. Mm -hmm. One is, I'm cool, but I I, I desire a partner. Yeah. I was gonna say, I'm gonna be bold and say one. Ooh. Like, I'm dating someone right now, okay. and I'm like, yeah, like, I, I'm mm. in this relationship to see it move towards marriage. Right. Yeah. Mm. right. You know, and I think too, like, it's okay to be hopeful towards something. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think a lot of times, like, for me as Enneagram 3, I live my life being like, unless it's perfect, I won't dive in. Yeah. And that's not okay to live. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. before yeah. I was dating someone, I was single for four years because I was constantly thinking this person has to meet all these qualifications. Yeah. And it's, it's like, not no, like that. I'm gonna be that's okay not like going into the process yes. and knowing that there's gonna be some ups and downs, and that's the joy, that's the beauty of doing relationship with people. You that's have so to good. go. That's the beauty, but it's also the stress. <laughs> and this is why I know I'm not ready for it. Because when I'm in a relationship, I put in the work. I do as much as I can, and it can be stressful, especially if you're with someone who does not communicate how they're feeling or the things that they want or they need. So I'm doing double the work and trying to figure it out because I want my partner to be happy, but then I neglect my feelings, my wants, my needs. So there's just so much work put into a relationship, and because I know that, I don't want to do it right now. I just don't. Let me be selfish for once in my life. Absolutely. The two of y'all haven't said that. <laughs> You go first. Sheesh. Um, <laughs> I'm really at a at a six. Um, like Wesley, I'm young. You yeah. know, so I'm 25 years old. Yeah. Um, have a lot of life to live. Yeah. And I'm looking to find that one to live it with. You mm. know what I'm saying? But on the other hand, uh, I don't feel like I'm still looking for my purpose per se. Because honestly, I feel like I found it. I know what I want to do in life. I'm I'm on that path right now. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just looking for someone to do it with. That's it. Nine That's times true. out of ten, my person believes the person you're going to be with, you've already met. It's just when and where you've met them in your life that's kind of the deciding factor of how that's going to play out. What's so funny is, out of everyone saying it's a loaded question, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm a two. I would say probably like a two, maybe a low end two, high end one plus. Mm -hmm. and, 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 it's, and I'm with you as well. I have joy. I love the fact that I can get up and go travel the world and go speak and do what I want to do when I want to do it. I will drop all of that to build a family. Mm. So mm. what are we missing now that you think when we get married will be fulfilled? Is there anything that will complete, that will add to us? Man. Teammate. 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 Like, I'm watching that uh, Michael Jordan last dance. Yes. yes. <laughs> a good teammate. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Scotty Pippen. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah. I mean, Scotty would have loved that. Somebody's going to do some dirty work. <laughs> That's just, I mean, to have a teammate is more so than just. Yes. Like, all this romantic stuff. It's like, can right. we build? Can mm. we? It's companionship. 
It's understanding one another when no one else does. It's going through the rough times in your life not alone. There's so many positive factors in being in a relationship. Hey, can you make me better? Because when I'm vibrating at a high frequency, yeah, I'm gonna need you up there too. Yes. And the day that I don't have it, bring me up. Yes, it's a, and vice versa. And the same for that person that I'm with. Like, we make each other, we literally make each other better. Yes. Self-mastery, like that's my number one focus when I wake up in the morning. When you two are there with each other, do you enjoy that person's energy? Does that person enjoy your energy? Is that person being the best version of them for you? Not for everybody else. As for my past, they were great women. I was happy most of the time. But I honestly feel that I've never had someone built with me to make me become a better person. And that's the kind of woman I need in my life. Relationship, I think business partner. Ooh. Yeah. Reason being is it's so important to invest in someone who's invested in themselves. When Anthony asked, what is one thing that you think that you are missing? And everybody was like, team and having a partner. Honestly, I've got a team. I've got management. I've got people who I work with. I don't need a team. Um, if I can keep it 100, sex. Like, hey. <laughs> the intimacy. Like, I... I I feel very fulfilled in my relationships with my friends, with my family. There's an intimacy that I am waiting for that comes between a husband and a wife. And so I realize not everybody feels that way, but that's how I feel. <laughs> that when passion. It comes to finances and everything, you're going to have your money and she should have hers as well. So someone who's independent. Um, mm. I just, I see her as someone I'm trying to win with. Yeah. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah. And she's not on the path. And someone to motivate me. I've always been with women who financially have had less than me or have struggled more than I have. So I've always been the one to pick them up, to relieve stress from them. I want that. I'm an independent woman, so I don't want someone to constantly give me things. That's not how I receive love. I want attention, affection, but I would love to find someone who is financially stable, who got their shit together, so we can build from here on out because I am older. So I don't want to go backwards. And I need you to be independent as well. Okay. When? Because I'm dating someone right now too, and I told her, I said, if you're not trying to win, then I can't, I can't hang with you. I treat my energy just like I treat my money. Yep. Say that again. So, I treat yeah, my energy going. just like I treat my money. How you treat your money? You know I'm a money guy. You got to come correct. Yeah. That's I only that's... invest in things that produce me a, oh. a greater return. I got you. Or equal or greater. So you're looking for compound interest. Yeah, so if you having a bad day and I picked up on that. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, let's go get your favorite ice cream. Let's, let's talk about this. I'm with you with the communication. Yeah. However, I'm going to throw this out there. <laughs> if I ask and I'm genuinely interested in what's going on with you, and you say you don't want to talk about it, it's only so many times I want to ask before the discussion is not open. Don't come to me later, and now you want to be an open book, and I gave you the platform. Uh-uh. Oh, uh -uh. Ooh, that's a young mind. That is a young mind. You need to always have that open door. Always. Some people need that time alone to gather their thoughts before they speak because they probably don't want to hurt your feelings and they don't want to make the situation worse. Just because they're, they don't want to talk on your terms does not mean you need to shut them off and they no longer have a say. No, 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 no. When she is ready to talk and you are ready to listen, that's when you come together and vice versa. Don't do it always on your terms. It's not going to be like that. Have you ever been in a situation where you didn't want to talk? It just was not the okay. time. No, here's that. If that's the case, say that. Communication is, a, is so effective, but I always see like it being viewed as one-sided. And I'm not saying that it is, you know, all the time, but it seems like men are actually just communicate a lot more than women. Men, women can be so indirect. Excuse me! What? I think women talk a lot. I think men don't like to listen. <laughs> listen. I've never been in a heterosexual relationship. I don't know really how it is to be with a man. But just talking to men in general, they have problems listening. When they feel like you're talking way too much, they stop. Their ears just, it's just like a natural thing. I don't know. But one thing I do agree with because I do have experience with being a woman, having sisters, and dating a woman, we can be pretty passive aggressive. And a lot of women manipulate, okay, to get their way. They'd rather do things indirectly 
to make the other person feel that it was their idea in the first place. Mm-hmm, I ain't sugarcoating nothing. <laughs> well, forget you then. We don't need to date. All right. All Could right. Could you date someone who makes three times your income? Oh! It just sounds like it'll end in turmoil. So, so I, then could, what's I could. I could. I could. <laughs> he said he couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> and that's okay. Oh, that's in part two. Shit. Okay, so this is the thing. I knew that this was a part one. If I did not like this video, I was not going to react to the rest of the parts. But because I highly enjoyed it and I was able to relate and answer questions myself, and I am in my pursuit of happiness, I'm trying to figure myself out. This is a good little series for me to react to. I will be reacting to the rest of the series. And ladies, men, if y'all are single, comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know a little bit of your story. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.